Mohamed El Masri is a political analyst. He joins us now from Doha. Thank you for joining us on the program. The proposed changes to the Constitution have already been approved by a sweeping majority inside Parliament. But what do you think Egyptian voters will decide? Do you think that people want to see CC in power potentially until 2030? Well, first of all, I think we have to be careful. I don't, I don't think Egyptian people are, are deciding anything. Uh, votes in military dictatorships aren't uh, decisions by the people. They're decisions by the ruling regimes. Uh, and that's the case here uh, with, with Egypt. Um, I think that you can expect a, a landslide victory for the yes vote, which, uh, which CC and the government uh, support. Uh, the government will be free to manipulate uh, the numbers as they, as they wish, uh, because there are no independent election monitors. Um, I think we have to keep in mind also that there's an environment, a climate of, of fear. People who tried to campaign for a no vote were arrested. There were about 120 arrests. The government has only allowed a singular narrative, its narrative. They shut down 34,000 websites um, uh, belonging to people, you know, activists who were trying to advocate for the no vote. So um, again, I don't think the Egyptian people are really are really deciding anything here. Mm -hmm. Human rights organizations have raised concerns about the liberties that these changes uh, could threaten. Do you share those concerns? I do. Uh, I think there's, I mean, there's a consensus in the political science community as well as the human rights community about um, how far Egypt has regressed. They took a step forward, obviously, with the with the revolution in 2011, and now they've taken a couple of steps backwards. Um, and these, these amendments will actually further cement military uh, dictatorship in Egypt. Obviously, Sisi will, will stay on in power through uh, 2030. Um, and then, you know, the other amendments are, are, just as, are just as dangerous. The military will have uh, near complete oversight over key aspects of Egyptian society. Uh, they're responsible, for example, uh, they will be responsible for ensuring that Egypt remains a civilian uh, and democratic state. That's obviously a contradiction in terms, uh, given that they are, uh, they are themselves not a civilian government, uh, uh, and also that the only time there was a civilian government in Egypt's modern history, the military uh, uh, perpetrated a military coup d'etat. So, um, and then there are other amendments that um, will uh, further uh, um, engross Egypt in military dictatorship, giving Sisi uh, control over the judiciary and, and other measures as well. Mm -hmm. What about the amendment, though, that would create a 25 percent quota of parliamentary seats for women? That sounds like it would be a good thing. Well, sure. I mean, the government always kind of throws these, these, these things in to, to make it appear, to kind of give a veneer of, of democracy and human rights. I think everybody supports greater participation for women in Egyptian society and in Egyptian politics. But I think we have to be clear about the larger environment and that this is participation for women and men and everybody else in uh, a ruling military dictatorship. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Mohammed Al-Masri, thank you for joining us and sharing with us your thoughts.